There are new developments in the Mumia Abu Jamal case. The widow of slain Philadelphia police officer Daniel Faulkner says District Attorney Larry Krasner is unfit to hear an appeal by the convicted killer. She's now urging the state Supreme Court to get involved. Eyewitness News reporter Howard Monroe joins us now from Center City. Howard. Yuki Daniel Faulkner was killed here in 1981. There is now a plaque here at Locust Street near the intersection of 13th Street. His widow, it's been 38 years, and his widow says that she is fighting in his honor. I'm here for one reason. I'm here for justice. And justice for Danny, and also justice for many victims that are being wronged by DA Larry Krasner. Widow Maureen Faulkner calling for District Attorney Larry Krasner to be removed from an appeals case involving her slain husband's convicted killer. The bottom line is this is it. This is it. We are at the end of our line with this case. Faulkner and her attorneys filed a 40 page King's Bench petition to the Pennsylvania Supreme Court. They say there are conflicts of interest that should prevent the DA from reviewing Mumia Abu Jamal's latest appeal. The district attorney should not be allowed to handle this case any further. He is conflicted. Abu Jamal was first convicted of killing Faulkner back in 1982. Since then, he's filed four appeals to have his conviction overturned. A fifth appeal is currently being reviewed by the DA's office. Office. But Faulkner's lawyers claim there are attorneys in the DA's office that worked previously to get Abu Jamal freed, even after he allegedly confessed. When Mumia was taken to the hospital, and I won't use the vulgar language that he used, Mumia yelled out, and it was heard by multiple witnesses, he yelled out, I shot that mother effer, and I hope he dies. In October, an appeal by Faulkner and her lawyers were thrown out by the state Supreme Court. Krasner said little about the current petition. I mean, to be candid, I haven't had a chance to look at it. Now, if Faulkner is successful with her petition, Abu Jamal's appeal will be heard by Josh Shapiro, who is the state attorney general, rather than by the DA's office. It is not clear when this case could be heard by the state Supreme Court. Live in Center City, Howard Monroe, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Howard, thank you.